to define Marmot, it's quite, it could be a long or a short story. Uh, it's a brand um, born really professional in 1974. Uh, from three guys working on glaciers basically and studying and they figured there's not the right equipment so they came out with down sleeping bags and down garments and based from there from expedition gear to where we are now I think we are pure outdoor and mountaineering brand with the mountaineering heritage still standing for exceptional quality but also for really a lot of sustainable efforts as well as corporate social responsibility efforts so meaning we are really trying to take the claim we have, people, product, planet, serious, taking care about all people involved uh, in the whole process from when we interact with, could it be customers or factories, uh, as well as so the product, meaning Marmot for Life stands for a product not only lasting a lifetime, it also stands for a product which saves your life in a tough, tough environment, as well as the planet part, which means we really try to produce a product with as less effect to the planet as possible. So for 2011 we have of course a lot of plans to continue the growth we have but one of the probably better definable plans is that we start our own retail stores. So we just opened in March uh, the first Marmot flagship store in San Francisco and we're going to open the first European flagship store in Nuremberg in September followed by the second one which will be in London in November. In regards to market potential, still the European key markets, um, of course, lead it by the German market as it's just the biggest buying power and biggest potential is still the, the driving force. But it's followed by the UK as well as by Scandinavia. Uh, and then the emerging markets, I think the, uh, the Eastern European market is finally recovering from the, the dip they had in 2009. So those would be, I think, the, the markets with the currently most potential. Marmot's working culture, I think that goes back also to what I explained earlier, our real people product planet claim that we really take care about the people we work with and we interact with. I would say uh, that also defines the working culture we have, meaning that we really try to play as a team. Of course, you need a clear leader in every team, but we try to really do it team oriented and try to take those people with us, just involving all the stakeholders as it's normally called, um, that they understand the decisions and then they take the decisions and, and live it as their own. As athletes, uh, or if you might call them celebrities, I would rather call them really athletes, um, as the, the people we work with in regards to advertising and in our campaigns are real pure either mountaineers, climbers or skiers. And the key person is Stefan Klobach. We work with Stefan since uh, 2004. Uh, and he is not only a great athlete, he's just a personality which stands and represents the brand efforts. That's probably one person who I think um, that affect um, the outdoor industry quite a lot uh, or did a brilliant job and I would probably mention Brand Kuhlmann, um, the CEO of Deuter, as it's not only a great business person, he still is a great climber and mountaineer and I think if you look at what he has done with the brand from being super conservative, tiny little niche to what it's today, I think that's something uh, which is highly recommended as a perfect person. What would I do if I wouldn't be in the outdoor business? I think that's an, a tough question because I, n I never ever thought that would happen because I mean my entire life have been working in that industry because that's the passion I have. Uh, I probably would rather be than a professional climber or skier than doing anything else than just working in that industry. The proudest moment of my career, that's the question. It's. I never thought about that because I'm still, it's still ongoing and it's getting better and better. So I, I wouldn't look back and say that's one point in time where I'm really proud of. I think it's, it's the, the entire development and maybe there's one thing I actually was really proud of. Uh, it was just next to the hard work I'm doing, just finishing my, my studies uh, in the UK last year when I finally got my, my MBA exam next to the job.